Hello, hello, hello everyone, NecroVMX here, and uh, welcome back with more Binding of Isaac Reber uh, Rebirth and <laughs> Repentance. My webcam froze last time. Uh, I think the, yeah, the USB came loose, and it just froze to the last bit of that video I was frozen. <laughs> oh well. I saw that, I was like, oh my god, please tell me it wasn't like that the whole time, but it wasn't. Alright, so what are we doing? Um, I think... Hmm. Who do I want to play it? Let's play uh, Azazel. Azazel's a fun character, so I might as well do it. Whoop. Alright, 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 and there we go, and one more. Alright, I gotta... You never know, right? Oh. Really, dude? Really? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Boop! Hey, that one was worth it. Alright, so it looks like we got Halo of Flies, which basically gives you two orbital flies. Um, they don't do damage to enemies unless the enemy is a fly-type enemy, but they do block shots. So... So Azazel, if I haven't explained him already, obviously he has natural flight, he has short range of brimstone, he starts with three three black hearts. He can gain red hearts. So check it out. Those guys will take damage because they're flies. These guys will they're not flies, so they will not take damage from that. But they'll still block shots. Having um Halo of Flies is a really good. It's basically the pretty fly effect twice. So if I get a pretty fly pill, uh, I will have almost complete immunity to, um, let me take a look. Uh, all right, I'll buy this. Pretty, almost complete immunity to, um, projectiles. It's, when you have three flies, it's kind of hard for the projectiles to get through. Uh, okay, so this is interesting. Basically, when you have duct tape, your orbitals will not orbit. Uh, obviously, I don't like that, so we're gonna get rid of that, but I wanted to show it to you. Oh! oh I dropped my fool card, too, yeah. You kind of just drop everything. Alright, I'll come back for that. I just want this. Alright, so, Mom's Coin Purse. We'll get a bunch of pills. Hopefully they're good pills. Let's see, Infested is good. We got two of these. Shot speed up. And... Bombs are key, which... It's alright, I mean, I had... Two keys and one bomb. Now I have two bombs and one key, so it's sort of like whatever. All right, here we go. Curse of the blind. That sucks. All right. Kind of my least favorite curse, because you can't make informed decisions on which items to grab. A dime. I swear they made nickels and dimes way more common. Damn. Alright, get them all clustered and then... Well, still one left. Alright, let's see what we got in here. It is spin to win. I like spin to win. Basically, you hold down the item button and you spin around, and that'll do contact damage and everything. But also, it makes you really fast, and you bounce off of things. I find it to be a really good way to avoid shots. Like, if I need to get out of a situation. I really like the spin to win. It's a brand new item. Also, I now have three orbitals, so that's cool. Let me see. Secret room here? No. Alright. Let me see. Here? Yes, okay. Alright. Um, Drawbreaker. Um, that used to be overridden by uh, Brimstone. I'm not sure if it still is. Let me look into that, because they, they made a lot where Brimstone works with a lot more things that it, they used to not work with. So let me just see. Jawbreaker. Uh, let's see. 
It doesn't really tell me. Let me just go to Tough Love then, because it's the same effect. Overridden by Brimstone, but as of Afterbirth, it will occasionally fire Brimstone Beam with damage multiplier of Tough Love. So that's actually really good, because the Tough Love multiplier is times three. So that's a pretty significant boost to your Brimstone when it does happen. And of course, that's based on luck, so let's blow that up. Uh, I don't want to go in the shop. Actually, I do. But I don't want to waste my only key, so I'll use a bomb to get in there. I really wanted to do this. And I'll die. So we're at 229. Oh, by the way, once you come into a shop, the door is unlocked. Even if you come in another way, like a teleport pill or bombing in. And that's because if a teleport effect puts you in there and you don't have a key, you, you can't be trapped. Uh, let me see if I can find the super secret room. I have a feeling that it would be right here. All right, there we go. Oh, uh, well. I can't do anything. I can't blow them up, and I can't use them. Bunch of machines. No coins, no bombs. All right. Light it open. Oh, there's a Mark Rock there, too. Damn. I might be able to do something with that. What do we got? Mom's Lipstick, that's a range up, which is always good for um, Azazel, and it gives you a heart. Uh, we're not going to go in there. Let me see if I could scare up a bomb for that marked rock. Doesn't look like it. All right. Oh well. I could go in there and try and scare one up, but I don't want to. I want Angel Room deals. So he doesn't have red hearts to spend, so you'd have to spend like quite a lot of soul hearts. Let's see. No, and no. Alright. My secret room's probably below that room. But I don't have any. Oh, there's a bomb. All right, fucking seven cents. Four dollars. Let's take a look. Mm -hmm. I might come back. What do we got? We got puberty, we got bad gas, and speed down, which is not great, but my speed's still higher than average, so. Well, I found the boss room. Oh god, I wasn't ready for that. Now I have an extra key though, so... Definitely worth it. Gives us while and out. Yes, please. All right. Go this way. Ah, good choice. Oh, wrong direction. All right, so we got Sister Maggie, which is not the most amazing thing for um, Azazel to have, but Let's see if it can scare up any more pickups, because I have no keys left now. There's one. Alright, I'm gonna just go to the next floor. Alright, we got Dark One. So he can fire a Brimstone Beam, but he only ever fires it down. So if you have to go past him, try and go above him, and if you have to go below him, be quick about it.
Got him. All right. All right. Me. So that'll give me a red heart and some damage. No angel room, unfortunately. Right, well, now we're at 67.5% chance of an angel room, so... It's unlikely that those shots would hit me, because I have three orbitals, but that doesn't mean I... It's best practice is to try and dodge things anyway for practice, and you never know, they could get through. Got him. All right. Exploding Pooter. Let's check this out. Oh, I got a donation machine. Yeah, so I think the increasing angel room chance of donating is only if it's split between angel and double room. It weights, it weighs it more towards uh, angel room. Uh, let's see, secret room here. All right, I do need to find a key though. That was the only key I had. Oh wait, let me blow this guy up. So we're now at 72 and a half percent and hello money. Oh, there's a key. I can get into that shop without using a key. Arrow cloth, I don't really want. It enhances the abilities of your um, cards, but first of all, Hangman is useless anyway for Azazel. And I don't know what the enhancement for Hangman is if there is one. You know what? Let me find out actually. I might find more cards. Let's see. Tarot cloth. I mean, I can't afford it anyway. I'm just curious. Um. It doesn't do anything with the hangman. And I can't afford it anyway, but I was just curious. It's there's no enhancement for hangman. Key. Key. Envy. Oh hello. So shoop de whoop is a laser. You just do, do like do like this and far shoop de whoop far my laser. Um, it's not bad. It's just a spin to wind is better. So I think shoop de whoop is one of those really. Uh, so we're now we're at ninety percent. Really underrated items, you know. Hey, there we go. Hello. Come on, open up. I should have spun at him. He won't come up if he's being fired at so- shit. So you gotta not have Sister Maggie firing at him. Alright. Oh! And there's Tough Love. I don't think that stacks. As a matter of fact, we know it doesn't stack. So I can get rid of Jawbreaker if I- find a different trinket. I looked it up, it doesn't stack. I'm just gonna just see if I can blow up that mushroom. No, nothing. Okay. You never know. Sometimes you get the mega mushroom. Not mega, what do you call it? Just super mushroom out of it. Oh, okay, that hit me. Super secret room? Here? Here. I'll definitely take that. I want to go to one of the donation machines and put the 11 coins I have into it. They're both kind of equidistant from where I am, so... We'll go to this one.
Doesn't matter. Keep slipping off of it. Oh! 257, and it uh, jammed, so any more coins we get, we'll keep. Alright. Mega Fatty. Everybody's favorite fucking... Uh, he's annoying with his Azel because you have to stay close to him to hit him. Which makes him do the fast hop. But, since I have spin to win, I can get out of there very quickly. Now, that was not the fast hop. Interesting. That was. This is making me nervous. There we go. Alright, we got him. Ooh, that actually hit me. Alright, so 8-Ball is a shot speed up, and I will get a card, which is the chair. I'm gonna hang on to the chair. It's not super useful, but it's better than the hangman. Here we have Habit, and we've unlocked Forgotten Horseman, which is uh, Conquest. He can replace death at times. Um, so the chair is slight invincibility with contact damage. Really works well with spin to win, but you can't fire in that way, so you want to start... You know, like, use the chariot and start spinning. Well, actually, you might not be able to spin during it. But, um, I have, you know... I don't know, I don't use the chariot that often, but... I would never use the hangman with this character, because he already flies. Secret room here, maybe? I have a feeling about it. Yep. You learn to just get a feeling about where they are. Alright. So now we have a, um... 16.9% chance either way. But really, what that is, is that's like a 33 somewhat, point somewhat percent chance of a mom's pet. It just, in, yeah, it just unlocked mom's contact. And I got the yes mother um, for getting three mom items. What three mom items did I get? The mom's pad, mom's lipstick, and... Wait, what is that one below the uh, lipstick? I don't remember getting another mom item, but they might have changed what's in the mom pool. So you just get a trailing knife behind you, which helps. And we've unlocked her eye. So what was I saying? Shit, I was saying something. I can't remember what it was now. Oh well. Must not have been that important. What do we got? The Emperor? That's a good one. We'll keep that. Uh, let's see what we got. Now I'm wishing I got tarot cloth and deck of cards. Yeah, but that's okay. Don't worry about it. I didn't have the money for it. I mean, I could have scared it up, probably, but... I ain't trying to bomb donation machines when I haven't filled it up yet. Oh. I hate those things. Okay. There we go. Look at this little guy. He's dead. Oh, God. They usually don't get stuck on those. That was kind of interesting. Let's see. Wheel of Fortune? No. Alright. Um, I'm just going to go ahead. Yeah. Why not? And we got everybody's friend, Monster 2. Oop. Thought I was charged. I was not. Ah. Damn. Oh, yeah. Because it is thinking... Oh, I saw Tara Cloth. And... Um... And deck of cards, they're both in the um, planetarium pool. You, and you can unlock planetarium rooms by having three items at once in the planetarium pool. So that was just a hit point. No big deal there. Elb dog treat. Alright, depths two. Let's do this. No... So we're at 67% split. Damn. 
Okay. Got him. Alright, cool. Cool, we're doing good. These guys are no threat. Well, there's the boss, but we haven't been to the um, item room yet. Or the shop, which I kind of want to look at. This is the last shop. So these knights used to have a few uh, frames of invincibility when they first entered a room, but they they got rid of that, and I think it was Afterbirth Plus. Oh god, two super greeds, wow. Alright, give me an extra 5%. Split, of course. Justice. Alright. Alright, what's down here? These assholes. Great. No! Oh! Hit him with the knife. Alright. Yeah, the knife, the trailing knife is great for, um... Enemies that chase you. Say? <laughs> it's basically a reference to Mom sneaking up on Isaac with the knife behind her back. Or attempting to. Alright. Everything we want is here. Okay, I'll take Leo. You can fly and be stompy. You just break things by flying over them. You can no longer use rocks and stuff as cover, but it's not that big of a deal. What do we have here? We got the world, whatever. I don't care. The sun. Actually, I'm going to keep the sun. Nothing that I want in there. All right. Because the sun does damage to all enemies on screen, heals you to full, and reveals the full map. Um, I don't think it reveals super secret rooms. It might. I forget. But, uh, yeah. Alright, let's go to the, uh... The boss. Which is, of course, Mom. Yeah. Damn. Got her. All right, we got caffeine pill. Speed up, size down, and you get a pill. There's gonna be bombs or key, which I don't want. Uh, do I need to do? Yeah, we need to do this. Let's go ahead and do um, boss rush. Um, all right, chemical peel. Oh, chocolate milk, dope. Yeah. Watch out! All right. Ooh, watch when I. When you have chocolate milk with brimstone, you fire up all the light, it's a double wide, extra powerful brimstone beam. And you can do partial charges too, because of chocolate milk, the way it works. But the more charged you are, the more powerful it is. So basically just charge into your in position, then let go. Alright, so we got Dangle and Gertie Jr. Oh god. Alright. Oh god, the fallen, really? And the hollow. Alright. God, I just realized I gotta go to the bathroom, which sucks. Hopefully, I can make it through this video. I went earlier and I didn't. No. But I gotta go. I might have to take a break and splice the videos together at some point. Carrion Queen and who else? Pin? Maybe? Oh, um, the frail. Okay. Damn. Not looking to... Oh, not looking to take a whole lot of damage here, but... I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take the Hello, Brownie! And Turdling. So it's a poop-themed, uh... Alright, 
Dangle. He always turns into Dangle at the end. Okay, Turdlings. Oh god, Adversary. And Husk is no big deal, but Adversary is kind of problematic. He fires a tracking Brimstone, but he always makes a very specific noise right before doing it. There, he's done. Okay. Where is the hollow? Uh, oh, not the hollow. What do you call it? Husk. All right, we got Cage, and I think that was Stain. Unfortunately, I've lost track of where Stain is. There he is. Damn it. All right, he's done. All right. We've unlocked Necropolis. That's the alternate, one of the alternates of the depths. All right, so, yeah. Chad. That other boss, I killed it so fast I didn't see what it was. I was just like, oh, he's dead, whatever. Oh, shit, all right. Really gotta watch my health now. All right, Gertie. And, oh, and Mega Maw? All right, I can hit them both at the same time. Oh, Gertie's still alive. I have the sun to heal me if I need it to. Mask of Infamy and Mr. Cool, I mean Loki. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, the mask and the heart look like they're floating, but they're not. All right, Gabriel and Dingle. Oh god, chill. We done? Nope. We got Famine and Monstro. Got him. Alright. Screw you, Famine. Alright. Alright. Widow and Uriel. Alright. Watch out. Okay. Oh, what the hell that was. All right, War and Gish. Fuck. We got him. And we've unlocked the nail. Dead Sea Scrolls. I'll pick it up just to put it down. It gives you a random activated item when you use it, which can be good or bad. What is this again? Bombs or key? Yeah, I don't want that. Um, well, I can't leave this room anyway. If I get in trouble, I could use the sun, but I only have three hearts now, so I gotta be very, very extremely careful. Secret room? No. All right. I don't want to use the sun to reveal the map unless I'm on the very last floor. Fuck. Careful. All right. So I'm no longer in the amazing position I was before, but but I got a completion mark, as you can see, the star. Let me see what that'll look like with this. You know what? I'm gonna keep it. I don't need the Jawbreaker anymore. It doesn't stack with the uh, Tough Love, so. Alright, Sloth is done. We got the Hermit. I'm not gonna use that. There's no shop, so it would just be a random teleport. Alright, the bathroom feeling has passed, so. Oh, right! I forgot that I was stompy. Alright, use the sun now. I'm not gonna take a risk. I literally forgot that I had Leo. Goddamn. Oh. Uh, I definitely... Well, I don't have the... 
I definitely want to go in the secret room, but I don't have the uh, a bomb, so. God, I didn't realize it can be that wild with this. Maybe I should get rid of this trinket. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to get rid of it just because it really is unpredictable. Alright, this way, this way, this way. Cool. Nice empty room. And... Damn it! My hand slipped off the fucking thumbstick. Oh, God. Alright, well, here we go. We got... Oh, wow, Blastosis! You don't see this guy in boss rooms all that often. Oh, yeah, they they, re they restored his intro that he had in the original Binding of Isaac. All right, we got him. Oh, we don't got him yet. We will have him soon. Now we got him. Hey. All right, yeah, that'll that's good because it's range up, which is good. It gives you shot speed up, and of course, the most important part is it gives me a black heart. That was actually the one thing that I was the most looking forward to there. Although range up is important for um, Azazel. All right, final floor. Gotta look in here. All right. Well, this will actually heal all your red health. So there you go. Um, tempted to blow him up, but I don't have anything to blow him up with, but I can give him keys. Let's see. I wouldn't need keys for anything else at this point, unless there's like a chest room or something. Lucky Rock? Mm, whatever. Lucky Rock, I think, just gives you a chance of... Uh, it used to be guaranteed, but it's a chance of blowing up rocks, giving you, um... Coins. No, I wouldn't need that. That's the paperclip. Take it easy. Yup. Come on. The cool thing about chocolate milk and brimstone is it's always ready to fire. It might be a weak fire, but it, you never have to be like, oh shit, I let go of the button and nothing happened. But we got the Hierophant. Yes, yes. All right, now I feel very confident. More blast assist. And we found the boss room. Alright, let's do it. I actually have a 100% chance, if I don't take Red Heart, of, of getting a room. I don't know if it, it'd be Angel or Devil, but either way it'd be good. Got it. And it's going to be an angel room, which means we can go to the cathedral. So we'll be skipping an ending here, but uh, we'll watch it in the thing afterwards. Right. Okay, cool. That's an extra soul heart. We're going to do the cathedral. And we should have an unlock here. A quarter! Okay, so we'll watch the quarter ending, and we've gotten Begotten Baby. Alright, cathedral. Here we go. That right there. I didn't need to let go of the charge for that. So I don't know why I did. Oh god, Ragman's there. I didn't notice him or I would have attacked him first. Damn it. Take it easy. Got a soul heart back. And alright. Another Ragman. Bitch. All right, let's see what's this way. There's no way I'm going in there. Unless this happens to be a really good item just sitting out. Mm, I'm not risking it. Is even challenge rooms have bosses at this point. Okay, so little larva, when you destroy poop, it gives you um, spiders or flies, I forget. But uh, you're not likely to run into too much poop in the cathedral, but whatever, I'll take it. You never know.
God damn. Alright, we got him. And two gluttonies. Oh, take it easy. All right, so that's just a full hit, uh, full, it's a heart. It's a heart, it's a health up, and it fills up all your red health. Uh, I just push that in there and, oh, hey. All right, yeah, feeling really good about this. Don't care. Oh. I think that's my first time seeing those items. Two of clubs. I see a mark truck there, but it's between. T well, there. Be careful, because there's a. Okay, cool. There's a exploding rock. Okay. Oh, there's a. Oh, two greeds. Oh. Wait, are these greed? Yeah, these are greed. Are they? No, they're not greed. These are. This is just regular. Yeah, those are greeds. I don't know why I'm thinking otherwise. Because they look like keepers. All right, here we go. Isaac. Actually, since I have so much protection, I can probably just stand in front of him. It's... Ooh. Mm. Well, I should... Best practices would be to try to dodge. They've made him harder than he used to be as of repentance, because they've given him more attacks. All right, second phase. When you see that, just usually going to one of the corners is going to work. Take it easy. And we'll get this Isaac ending that I don't think we've seen. I don't think I've done this as anybody. Have I? I might have. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't think... I think that might be our first time seeing that. Alright, that's unlocked the Satanic Bible. Which basically is a book that gives you a, a black heart. But as a repentance, it has a second effect. Is that it changes the boss item into a devil deal. Where you'd have to buy it with health. But it also is a devil, it, call, it comes from the devil deal pool, which is cool, but it also does not count against angel rooms. So you can take devil deals and still get angel rooms with, with satanic bibles. Kind of a cool item, the way they reworked it. Um, that being said, let's see. Uh, so yeah, if we look at Azazel, we see that we have two new completion marks there. We have the cross and the star. Oh, and also the heart. We, had, we didn't have that before. So we have three new... Um, that greed mode one is bothering me. We'll have to do that at some point. Well, no. Never mind. That's greedier mode. Who had the one that wasn't hard mode? It was Isaac being Satan. He doesn't have his D6 yet, though. We're working on getting that. All right. So let's, um... Who are we going to play as? Let's play as Bethany. She's a new character. We haven't played as her at all. Bethany has a really cool item. It's an activated item that is also a passive item called the Book of Virtues. You use it and you get a wisp. And the Wisp will fire uh, Spectral Tears. And I can do it again, actually, and I'm going to. I'm going to explain how she works. Let me pause it. So, the Book of Virtues, also, if you get a different active item, it'll stack with the Book of Virtues, and it'll change the Wisps into different things. For example, they might be Poison Wisps or Holy Wisps or whatever. So, it's cool to experiment with that. She can never gain Soul Hearts. Notice that she has, uh, like right here, I'm gonna use my mouse here, it shows soul hearts instead of them being here. Instead, uh, soul hearts, when she picks them up, goes towards item charge, and you could use them to charge items. So, it's kind of unique. Okay, here's Lust. The Wisps can and will die from either taking too many shots or making contact with enemies. They do hurt enemies. When, see, that one just went. They do hurt enemies when they make contact with them, but. Let's see, health down. That was... All right, let's restart. I'm not going to start with health down like that. That's ridiculous. Okay, seller one. Let's go. Her stats are a little underwhelming, so you want to make sure that you... 
uh, use your wisps as much as possible at first. But also keep in mind that she can never gain soul hearts, so it's very difficult. The same thing with black hearts and eternal hearts, they still count towards that. Um, they're just worth slightly more. Well, actually, she might be able to gain eternal hearts because they give you red health. I'm unsure. But she can't gain black hearts. I know that for a fact. So, it makes it difficult to get angel or devil room deals because you can never, um... Whatchamacallit? You can never, um... have armor. But yeah. Bethany's fun. Alright. Grab that. Let's see what we got. Okay. Hourglass. Is enemy slowdown? Let's use it. Even though there's no enemies, see it gave me an hourglass wisp. And that one I believe will shoot slowing tears. And you actually want an item like this where it only takes two rooms to recharge it because you can get wisps back all that much faster. Also, some wisps will be closer to her than others, so sometimes you can get, like, sort of two layers of wisps. But, yeah. There can, you know, I like the way, like, each new character sort of, like, starting with the afterbirth ones, right? It's like a completely new mechanic that you have to learn. Ooh, careful. Okay, so they slow on death. All right, no, I definitely don't want this curse skull. It, if you like, it go to you get hit and you're at critical health, it warps you out of the room. Which I don't know, maybe you want that to happen, but usually you don't want to be warped in the middle of combat. Oh, do that. All right. So I don't know if they uh, those with fire slowing tears, but they definitely ooh proc the effect when they die, which is cool. So the Book of Virtues is something that you can never get rid of because it's passive. It takes up it's an active item, but it's passive. It just stacks with whatever it is that you have. All right, here we go. All right, so we got Widow. No, it doesn't do slowing tears. Okay. By the way, if you can ever get him to stomp on his own pustules, they, he'll kill them, as you can see. Well, I guess I should say her, because it's Widow. I did that on purpose. I wanted the slow effect. Alright, meat. That's good. Damage and health. Alright, so basement two. I can't get at that. Okay, so rainbow buddy. I'll just shoot random tier effects. I should probably wait till I'm in a new room to do that. That way it slows enemies in a new room. Hmm. Damn. It happens. I get to have more than two wisps because I'm kind of sucking, but you know, what can you really do? All right, here's the boss. Let's just do it. We've got Larry Jr. Okay. It does slow. The no, no, that's never mind. That was the um, rainbow baby that did that. All right, we got Squeezy, which is a tears up, and will give me two soul hearts. And look at that, I got an angel reveal. And oh, hello, crown of light. Crown of Light uh, gives you diamond tears, and basically it lasts until you get hit, 
and then you have to like heal your it, heal yourself up to get it on an, in a new room. I see eternal chest. We got a quarter. That's cool. Let's see. Six cents. I'm gonna risk it. What I get? Ace of clubs. What is this again? Magician. Oh, Ace of clubs, though. There we go. Um, open chests are no longer counted as pickups. They used to be. All right, I just want to go to the shop, but I don't have any keys. So I also kind of want to look for keys. Well, I can get at that now that I have bombs. Oh, there's a key and a bomb and a coin. Look at that. I mean, I just got a quarter, so... We just unlocked the quarter and I didn't watch the ending. Uh, let me do this. use them all up. Actually, that'd be good for now. I don't think I can carry anymore. No! Whoa, okay. No, I could get one. Yeah, the limit on how many you can have is different for each item. The devil. All right. It's basically the book of Belial, book of Belial effect. All right. Even though I only have the one key, I do have thirty-eight coins. I'm gonna just go ahead and go into the uh, shop. Hopefully, it's not greed. It's not. But PhD is here. So PhD gives you a pill and also gives you what's called better pills, which basically means that. Pills with negative effects or change the positive effects. So, like, this is a range up. It, it range downs become range ups and such. And it also, you'll always know what a pill is when you grab it. So, we'll definitely take that. And I think I'll just go ahead and donate the rest after I take the devil. Actually, you know what? Sharp plug. Infinite charge at a cost. I, I might need it. Basically, sh sharp plug means that if you have no charge, you can still use your active item by sacrificing a little bit of health. You never know. It might help. Bethany. All right. All right. Caves one. Let me just take a peek in here. And yeah, we'll do this. I'm going to grab that, though. It's the faded Polaroid, which basically occasionally kind of fades you and you become like invis invisible and it actually confuses the enemies on screen. Nope, two double cards. Too bad I can't carry them both. Okay. Damn. Alright. That kind of shit's gonna happen when you're completely surrounded. Generally speaking, with, with Bethany and the Book of Virtues, you want active items to that make the uh, closer to you. So they're less likely to get damaged by enemies. Oh, oh well, that's fine. I could do it again, but I won't. This is a sharp plug. That is a marked rock air. Okay. Mr. Mega has appeared. Bad gas. Whatever. I'm give me enough time to get out of there. You get killed, you get killed.
definitely don't want those things to touch me. Yeah, so Bethany's a character that can become very overpowered very quickly, if you're lucky. And you get a really good active item that you can... You know, because this being two charges like that, that's really good. Two room charge. Okay. So, multi-dimensional baby kind of follows you around, and if you shoot shots through him, they double. Which is really cool. So it becomes a very good idea to just immediately shoot as soon as you come into a room. All right, let's take a look. Um, all right, I'm just gonna donate, I think. I'm gonna blow you up, though. Yeah, see, that weighted it more towards angel rooms. So it only works when it's split. All right. God, mega fatty. All right. And sh any shots that go through the multi-dimensional baby get doubled, as you can see. Not just your shots. I mean, only shots that are friendly. Enemy shots won't get doubled, but shots from the wisps get doubled. Shots from um, the rainbow baby. So, toothpicks is good. Cheers and shot speed. Can't argue with that. Which since my shot speed's not amazing. Alright, Catacombs 2, let's go. Secret room here? Wait for it. Ultra Pride. Alright. See if I can take out... Oh, I try to take out Ed first. No, oh, Florian's still there. Okay. Because if you take out Ed and then take out Florian, Florian can sometimes drop pedestal items. Not always, but... Not, not that time, but I got a key. Let me just take a peek. Nope. Oh, okay. Jesus, Jesus. All right. Oh, well, didn't really need it, but... It's okay. I didn't really look to see if there were enemies before I did that. What do we got? Oh, wow, only one of the best items in the game. So that's a much bigger... It's four rooms, but it's so good. The only thing is it's so good that I'm going to save it for bosses. Oh, we got to go this way. All right. Well, actually, I I would have to use both keys though, and I don't know. Normally, I would have kept the uh, the thing, the um, maybe picked up an item, used it once, and then put it back down. But uh, pinking shears are just just too good to ignore. All right. I would love to get BFFs, but there's no way I'm going to get enough coins for that, so we'll just donate. We're at 279 there. Ugh, oh, basically makes all your buddy followers a lot more powerful. Alright, let's do it. Watch this thing murk the hollow, the pinky shears. Yeah. There he goes, look at that. He's going crazy. He doesn't seem to be concentrating too much on one segment. Oh god, chill out, chill out, chill out. I knew I was going to take damage there. 
It's even better. Okay, blue cap, that's good. Um, you know, I'll take a look. Um, too spooky and say I can't even get to the other one if I wanted it. Too spooky's really good, but I don't think I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna pass on that. So note that the wisp is like a little Isaac head now. See. All right, let's go down here maybe. All right, it should be no problem. I'm going to be relying less on the Wisps and more on just my own abilities now because of Pinking Shears. Pinking Shears is like, it's one of the best items. It doesn't do well against really fast enemies like the Hollow, but for the most part, it's just really good. Oh, and by the way, multi dimensional Baby doesn't really just follow you. It actually mirrors your movements. So like, watch, I'll go like this, and then you'll see it do it. It's a lot tighter than it used to be. I'm going to use it here just to get another wisp because I'm sure there's plenty left of this, but... I'm not going to go crazy trying to create too many wisps. Let's see. Nothing. Okay. I mean, there was a... No, there was a, a switch, but who knows what that would have done. Not a switch, what do you call it? A button. Okay. Ah. Well, I'm getting hit. Ah, <laughs> uh, there goes Crack Crown. I have to heal to fill it back up. Let's definitely go looking, because Crack Crown's really good. You see that the crown above my head is now black. But if I pick that up... Yeah, see? There you go. You see, the Crack Crown does lower your shot speed, but the uh, damage in Tears Up is too good to not take it. Let's take a look. We got Greed. All right. Damn, of course that happened. Now, Crack Crown only applies to red health, but of course... Bethany, that's all you'll have, is red health. Damn it. There's the item room. Got him, alright. Alright, so Eyesore is really cool. It basically just randomly shoots out tiers in other directions. It doesn't affect your main tiers, so it basically just is a net positive. Now, damn it. Double damn it. <laughs> I really don't like these things. Curse of Darkness is making it hard to see where the shots are coming from, but I really should be playing better than I am. Alright. Wow, okay. Let's just fail a little less. Come on now. Can we fail just a little less? I've been calling these guys mini pins for so long, I don't I have no idea what they're actually called. Should we one day find out I'll like finally go into the bestiary and look and I'll be right that they were called mini pins. Maybe I'll look after this. I gotta look at that one ending that we got that we didn't see. The a quarter ending. God damn it. Alright, well, we found the boss. I was hoping to find blue and black hearts to build up my wisps, but. There's not a thing. No, I don't want that. That's bad. Alright. Alright, Headless Horseman. Let's go. God damn it. The cool thing is that you do float after you, um. Fuck. I'm going to pick this up just to get the Wisp. Where is the Wisp? Oh, does it not give you one? Hmm. Or is it the same Wisp effect? Well, either way, I'm not doing amazing here, but hopefully we can make something happen. Curse of Darkness really made that one difficult. 
Right, we got the hollow. These fucking guys. He was leeching health from the others. That's a new type of champion that does that. My trinket really helped there. I did that not only to get a wisp, but also these guys are non-aggressive when you don't have charge. Come on, give me hearts. Damn. I really need some red hearts. Uh, you know what? Let's see. Nope. Nothing. 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 I want to keep 15 coins in case I see a shop and I want to buy something. Well, I only have the one key now, so... And I'll be using it here, so hopefully we find another key. And a shop that doesn't have, like, freaking super greed in it or something. Oh my god, really? The fucking data miner? Yeah, I'm just gonna pick it up and put it down. Actually, I'll pick it up, use it, and then put it down. So the data miner, like, turns everything sideways and changes your stats. You get speed up, range down. I really hate the data miner. Such a stupid item. It gives me blue flame wisp, which is cool. Hmm, no. I do have another key, though. I want to save that for the shop. Nothing. All right, Larry Junior. Got him. Got him. Got him. Okay, down here we go. Uh, I'm gonna send a bomb after this guy. Actually, no, well, that's the only thing I really would want. Um, damn it. Found the shop, though. School bag has appeared, and... Wow, nothing that I want. Okay, so we'll just donate what I have. Actually, blow him up, too. Oh, there's a secret room there. Look at that. Here's the last shop, right? Yeah. Almost 300. 290. Oh, there's Super Greed. Well, hopefully he'll drop some coins and I can get 300 in there. Watch it, watch it go to like 299 and decide that it it's gonna uh, jam up. Oh, I didn't notice it was a mimic. Shit, that's bad. Don't want that. Uh, let me just see if I can. I really need red hearts now. Damn. Where did that poop whisk go? That was so weird. Oh, there it is. I don't know what gave me that poop whisk. Maybe it was the data miner. No, it didn't jam, so that's good. I thought you'd unlock something at 300. Guess not. We're at 307. And only one heart. Not helpful. Uh-oh. Careful now. Please have a black card in you. No. Not that I can add to my health, but... That's gonna explode. <laughs> I'm trying to stay as still as possible because of the multi-dimensional baby. Damn it! Oh, that sucked. Just because I couldn't move fast enough. Alright, well, let me um, keep going in there. Let me show you that ending that we missed. We'll wait till next time. Ending 8. This is the quarter ending. Now I do have to go to the bathroom, so <laughs> I'm glad we're ending it, actually. I just wanted that completion mark. But, well, they're not gonna all going to be winners. Yay, 25 freaking cents, bruh. Not an amazing ending, but there you have it. And you know what? Let's see. All right, well, these guys are new, right? So they're probably more towards the end. So we'll start at the end. And, oh, those are bosses. All right. 
Ne n are those needle, needle and pins? Pins and needles. Okay, yeah, they're called needles. All right, that makes sense. Pin and needle. That makes a lot of sense, actually. All right. Um, yeah. All right, I'll see you guys uh, next time with more Binding of Isaac Repentance.